you imagine you're paying an athlete to look a certain way and there's a dark side to what they have to do. A legendary bodybuilder hailed as one of the greatest ever had his leg amputated to save his life. But that is not the only adversity that has striked him in the recent past. Today we dive deep into the courageous Flex Wheeler's troubled life. We also look at how he himself admitted to having lost everything, top to bottom. Flex Wheeler won numerous competitive titles during the 1990s, including the Arnold Classic four times and Ironman Pro five times. He was lauded for his body symmetry and strength and his peer record-breaking Ronnie Coleman said he was the best bodybuilder he had ever competed against while Arnold Schwarzenegger called him one of the greatest bodybuilders he had ever witnessed. But in 2019, the industry was left in shock when Wheeler had to undergo emergency surgery to amputate his lower right leg, otherwise he could pass away. When I found out I had the disease in 99, it was so rare at that time before they even confronted me and told me about it. Wheeler said that it was either losing his leg or losing his life, a decision that was due to escalating circulation difficulties that had reached a dangerous point. He said, at that time, the doctor just stared at me and I started crying because I knew. She said, Flex were there, so I said, just take it. Wheeler was the inaugural recipient of the Olympia Inspiration and Courage Award in 2020, given to bodybuilders displaying courage when facing adversity. Born Kenneth Wheeler in Fresno, California in 1965, he practiced martial arts in his teens before becoming a police officer. Soon after, he began a successful bodybuilding career and was given the nickname Flex because he could do a full split. In 1994, he nearly passed away in a car accident. He also admitted taking anabolic steroids to enhance his physique. I put on like 30 pounds and I was like, is this safe? I remember asking one of the old timers and he goes, don't stop son, don't stop, keep going. And I'm like, yeah, but look what's happening. I had stretch marks everywhere. They were so painful, they are like big worms. You can still see them on my forearm in between my legs. You know, did I do this to myself based on what I use, what, I, what I've done? You know, if I, if I pissed in a bed, then I got to sleep in it. Earlier troubles. He was earlier diagnosed with unexplainable kidney failure in 1999, and his hands, feet, and even genitals began to excessively swell. Um, well, I found out I had disease, and you know, um, that was rough because all my contracts left. They ran like the black plague. Wheeler called his condition hereditary, but others have said that his steroid use may have contributed to it. Despite many procedures to try and fix his circulation problems, in the end he was left with no choice but have his leg partly amputated. He could even have more limbs removed in the future, he says. I'm at risk of losing my left leg. I'm also at risk of losing my right arm, my left arm because it attacks your limbs. Wheeler, who retired from action in 2000, posted a video of himself post-operation back in the gym. In it, he could be seen lifting weights, including at one point using his prosthetic right leg. One caption read, I will not be denied. So they all ran like the plague. So I just lost everything, my mansion, my car. I was forced from that to have to go and stand with my mother-in-law. A legacy left behind. Flex Wheeler remains to be one of the greatest bodybuilders to have ever graced the bodybuilding stage. Even today, many bodybuilding historians and fans cannot believe that he did not win at least one Mr. Olympia title. But as we touched on it earlier, his bodybuilding career and life in general, Flex went through hell and back with all his medical complications due to blood clots, kidney failure, and then having part of his leg amputated. The majority of the bodybuilding world are well informed about Flex Wheeler's kidney problems and his recent amputation, but not many are aware of what happened in between these life-threatening medical problems. Even when he most probably had the best bodybuilding physique in the history of the sport, Flex believed that he was not as good as his fellow competitors. The steroids. Flex Wheeler started his competition career as a natural bodybuilder, but as he started to get more involved in the sport, he started to experiment his performance enhancing drugs. Flex explained in detail his first experience with steroids. My first cycle was Dianabol. Just Dianabol, just the capsules. I put on 30 pounds and a little bit over a month. I wasn't telling anybody and I was kind of secretive about it, only a few people knew in the gym, but I just couldn't hide it, Wheeler said. While he continued to increase the amount of steroids used to prepare for bodybuilding competitions, Flex started to have problems with his kidneys. Even today, doctors do not say it was related to the use of steroids, though. They ignore that thought. Kidney Troubles Flex Wheeler started to make a name for himself as the best bodybuilder in the world, but this all started to change when he placed second at the 1999 Mr. Olympia. As doctors still could not give an explanation to Flex as to why his kidneys were failing, he said he noticed things getting worse after every competition. In 99, it really, really got bad. I took off from LA and I drove to San Jose, 
and when I got there I was so swollen I couldn't even move. I checked myself into a hospital and I did an Epsom salt bath and I ended up having to take a diuretic to flush the water out and I'm like this ain't right, Wheeler said. For over a year I went to all kinds of specialists. All they said was, oh you eat too much protein, oh it's the sports technology drugs you take, oh you're too heavy, just a whole bunch of misfits. I went to every hospital and every specialist I could go to and they wouldn't even do blood work. Wheeler continued to explain that the doctors took decisions based on his physique, which led them to not doing the proper testing and diagnosis. In 2000, the doctors finally did a biopsy and discovered that he had FSG, one of the most fatal kidney diseases. After this, Flex tried to keep competing in spite of the copious amounts of medication that he was being forced to take, however at this point, started to compete drug-free. From Kidney Failure to Amputation Flex Wheeler started to live a life of extreme pain and discomfort due to complications from kidney failure. Flex came close to his end on many occasions. After numerous procedures, Flex had no choice but to eventually get the lower part of his right leg amputated. In fact, by the time he had to get the procedure done, he almost lost more than that. He says, I asked how bad it was and she said, on the one side, one artery is 100% blocked, the other artery is 90% blocked. And he went, Jesus, take it. If it's that bad and one of them breaks loose, it means it can end me, right? So it was from July to November, I think it was November 3rd, when they did the surgery. After the procedure, Flex Wheeler recalled being in unbearable pain. He was on a large amount of medication in the hospital, but he refused to keep taking them when he got out, for fear of getting addicted. Nowadays, he says the pain is still constantly there, even though he has gotten used to it. It is not uncommon for amputees to feel phantom pain in their missing limbs, and this is no different for him. But we must remember that Flex is in fact not of the woods just yet, as he was informed by doctors that he is at risk to have his remaining limbs amputated. The doctor said, the disease you have now causes occlusions of your arteries, so you're at risk now of losing your left leg, right arm, and left arm, Wheeler said, fighting back tears. I got tired. Okay, if this is going to happen, it's going to have to come and get me. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go live my life. I'm going to get back in shape. The Kidney Donor Flex Wheeler revealed that his kidney donor unfortunately passed away in 2020. Flex Wheeler's donor explained that his donor, Riza, lost her father when she was very young. As Flex's children were still very young, Riza did not want them to grow up without a father. You know, a transplant soon because I was, I was going to get in dialysis every other day for three hours. Not long after they did the kidney transplant in 2003, Riza revealed that she was diagnosed with breast cancer. After a 16-year battle, Riza unfortunately passed away. Flex describes Riza as a pure angel. Flex is probably one of the very few bodybuilders who choose to partake in lengthy interviews regarding their personal troubles. When all said and done, we have to say that Flex Wheeler has conquered every obstacle thrown at him during his life, and we are sure he will continue to do so. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.